Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I had to step out of the room. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody tonight? This is Cindy from CC's. How is everybody doing? Let's see if I can remember to put some of my stuff up there. So you guys know who I am. <laughs> like you don't already know, right? <laughs> All right, so I am just coming at you wanting to, to have a little creation with um, a balloon. See, I've got this balloon thing going on this weekend, so I'm kind of doing things with the balloons. So I am using the We Rise again. Well, We Rise is what it's called, but I am using it again. <laughs> so I just kind of create, um, just with a board and base, I want to do a little ombre look. It seems like a lot of people like that ombre look. I do too. So I just had some ideas and some color ideas, thought it would be something very colorful because you know how when you go to a balloon glow, it always has lots and lots of colors. So I wanted to come over here first. I'm always trying to see if I can invite people to come and watch. So let's see if we get some people to come in here, watch. So how's everybody's, let's see, what is today? Tuesday, how's everybody's Tuesday going? It's going, right? It's just a going away. But it's getting better. So I have invited a few people. Just wanted to do that. See what we can get people to come in. As you come in, do say hello. Let me know that you're here. If you come in on the replay, and I love to have the replay viewers do hashtag replay. I just love to know that you are here. Um, so I'm going to get started. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. If not, I will get to it right after the live. I'll go through and see if any comments there that I can help anybody. So. Um, I think we can just go ahead and get started. I'm using silk screen transfers for those of you that may be new to chalk couture. They're silk screen. We're applying chalk paste to them, which is a water soluble paste. It will go on wet and it dries to a hard consistency. If you are new to chalk couture, I've never heard about it, please leave a comment below and just say new and I can reach out to you and give you a little bit of information, more information about what chalk couture is all about. I love it. I've been doing this for a little over a year and just love creating. I just have a good time doing this. It's fun. So I like being able to just create however I want. <laughs> All right. So I am going to see if I can get this started here. Now it seems to that I always have an issue with trying to get my little picture going here. So let's see if I can get this to work. There we go. I did it faster, you guys. <laughs> That's always getting better. All right, here we go. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> see my little girl boss. We are a girl boss here. All right, so here is the transfer that I was telling you about. This is what we call We Rise. And um, like I said, I'm doing a balloon event this weekend in Defiance. So if you are in Defiance area here in Northwest Ohio, we will be having a balloon fest at the Defiance County Airport. And I believe it's the sixth year or something. So um, it seems to be pretty big. So there's lots and lots of things for you and the kiddos to do. So make sure you stop on out we are going to have a good time and the balloon glow will be obviously at dusk. So anyways, I want to show you, since I'm using this, 
I'm just, this is the one that I created with Michelle. And what's great about this is that you can either take anything off and redo it. Maybe I'll just take off the Eat More Tacos because I messed that up a little bit. I don't know, I must have put it in my bag or something and it kind of got messed up. So I can always, I wanna show you how you can just wet down the one side. And so we're tired of looking at this, right? So not really, but you know what I mean. You wanna change it up. We're ready to change it up. You're just gonna let it set for a minute. I'm going, I really haven't had it setting on there too long. So it should be okay. Should be good. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to let that set, we're going to, um, maybe I can use, this has been well loved, I've used it quite a bit. These are our um, board erasers, they're great for um, cleaning your boards, like if you ever get the uh, shadowing is what it's called, if you ever get shadowing on here, then this is exactly what you need. It's just a board eraser, it's from Chalk Couture, we do have these on our website. So um, it makes great way to clean things up. It comes off really easy and it helps get rid of the ghosting, which is what's left sometimes. If it's you've had it left on your board for a really long time, then it may leave a little bit of ghosting. You use this after you've cleaned off your board and it comes right off. It's amazing, just absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to take and start going. See how easy that's coming off, do you see that? just going to take and rub this and it'll come right off with this board eraser. You're just going to rinse this under water so not going to be that big of a deal. See how quick and easy that was? I just have a little I just have a little tray here that I kind of keep it in and then I can rinse it off. Then I'll just wet this down a little bit more and then I will take a paper towel and then just clear off what was left. See how easy that was? Just to clean that off with that board eraser. Then I usually will take one of my wipes just to make sure that I get everything off. Okay. Please do say hello as you come in. Let me know that you are here. Say hello. Bottom left hand corner of your mobile device is a share button. I would appreciate it if you would share the video. We'll let, unless you're a designer, then you're not gonna want to share. But if you are new or have watched me for a while, then I would appreciate it if you would share. Right? So, now we've got this cleaned off. All right, I'm gonna turn my fan on, I'm getting a little warm. <laughs> Need just a little bit of air. See my shirt? This is the shirt that I made um, oh, last week or a couple weeks ago. I kind of did some cutting up and I really like it. So it's just something different. So I, if you watched the other night, I made another shirt. Fun doing that too. So it's just so much you can do. It's not just on boards or um, pieces of wood. It's all kinds of things that we can actually put our transfers on. I kind of was thinking of wanting to do some etching on like a glass block or something. It always gets really warm in this room because I have all these lights on so it's a little warm. Alright so here is the transfer. We rise by lifting others. It's a beautiful saying. Again so if you're going to want to keep these uh, backings you're going to want to write on the back or if you don't want to write the words I've always said either just make an X or just say back just so that you know which side is the back. So all you're going to do is just kind of roll your fingers over the edge and you're going to pull this transfer off slowly. Put that off to the side. Now those of you that are new here is the silk screen transfer. As you can see here my finger does not go through that. This is the silk screen. It is not a stencil, it is a silk screen, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going, since it's fairly new, I haven't used it many times. This is our fuzzing cloth. Absolutely love it. Fuzzing cloth, this is um, what you're going to use to fuzz this up a little bit. Basically all we're doing is picking up a little bit of lint just so that it's not so sticky because these are 
sticky back, sticky adhesive to stick to your board so that it doesn't move around. But when they're brand new, they get to be pretty sticky. And so you don't want them to be too sticky, then you're going to be um, stretching them and it's just harder to get it off the board. So just two or three times, depending on how it feels to you, you'll be able to tell the backing is not so sticky, but there's still stickiness to it, okay? So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure that I put this up higher because I'll show you why here in a minute, okay? So I'm just making sure that I get any air bubbles out because if you have an air bubble in where your silk screen is, it may not cover very well and you won't be happy. So you just need to be careful. Sometimes people like to pick it up, kind of tilt it a little bit to see if there's any bubbles there. Sometimes I do that too. Or you can, I've had people take a squeegee and they kind of run it across just to make sure that they have all the air bubbles out. You kind of are pushing it, but you just want to make sure that you're not stretching the transfer. All right, so what I was telling you, the reason why I want to push this up is because here is the base. So when you are finished, you're going to put it in this base. Okay, so that's why I'm telling you that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you be careful as to, see we could have brought it down a little bit, but be careful as to how far you um, bring it down to the board. So it looks good, I'm gonna leave it there. All right, so here is the plan. I'm not saying that it's going to really come out perfect. Nothing's perfect and I'm okay with that because it's just mine and I'm gonna use it to display, but the great thing about this is too, is that it's water soluble. So if I don't like it, I can wash it off. But when you're doing an ombre, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have all your colors ready, have them all stirred up and be ready to go. Because you're going to go from one color to the next color to the next color, and then you're gonna to wanna to blend. We're gonna put a color on here, and then the next color, then we're gonna blend it in. We're gonna wet our finger just a little bit, and then we're going to kind of swirl a little bit and blend in the colors. My plan is I'm going to use guava at the top and then I'm going to use this grape soda. And then what I want is this marigold. I wanna put more down in here, this lower part right here. And then my basket, I want it to be this shimmer gold. Think that'll look okay? What do you guys think? I think it'll look okay. Or I could use the bark, but I was afraid that maybe that was gonna be too dark and it might not show up. I mean, I do have where I could make it a little bit lighter, but I just wasn't sure. So I thought a different color basket would be kind of neat. It doesn't have to be, you know, traditional. We can make it different. We can make it any way we want, right? All right, so when you open your paste, or if you open paste at one of my classes, all I ask is that you take and you open it up and you stir it up. If it is too thick, then you I have water bottles. You're just gonna take a squirt or two. I ask that you usually try to just do one squirt and then just kind of stir it up. It should have a yogurt-like consistency. And for those of you people that don't like yogurt and don't know what the consistency of it, how about cake batter? <laughs> I've had people say, well, I don't like yogurt, so I don't know what the consistency is it. Okay, cake batter. I think everybody likes some kind of cake. And then if you're not a yogurt or a cake eater, then poo on you. <laughs> Ask somebody. <laughs> it's gotta be something that you like. <laughs> you're just not American if you don't like to have cake. So I, 
I think some of it is a little thick, so I'm just going to make sure that I stir it all up because, like I said, I want to have all my colors ready. Right? I do like to teach classes on this, so if you are interested in a class and I can come to your house or you can come to mine, don't worry about having to clean up your house or anything. You can always come here. You have a lot more choices if you come to my house because obviously because everything's here and I just bring a selection of things to your class but always bring what, what you're wanting but anyways I do have classes here at the house or we can find a location to where we could all meet somewhere if you don't want to have it at your house or some ladies like to say, oh, my house is too small, or oh my, I have to clean. <laughs> no, sweetie, we're just there to worry about our chalkboard, not anything else. <laughs> All right, so if you're interested in that, comment with class, and I will make sure that I get you some information because you do earn hostess credit for having your own class. And it's basically just people are coming and purchasing a board and they have use of all my silk screen transfers and my paste. And everybody goes home with a finished product. All right, so here we go. All right, this is where it's going to get tricky and I'm gonna to have to just continue moving along so that I don't take too long. I'm going to get the multi-tool out because I think when I get down here doing the basket, I may need to go a little smaller, I don't know, or in here with my marigold. We'll see. All right, so here we go. Just gonna move along quickly. So I'm going to do the guava, All right? So I'm just gliding across to here. Right, just going to lay that down. Just going to take the grape. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to do a little more. Um, so now I'm just going to wet my finger down just a little bit. Don't want it too wet. I'm going to take and I'm going to blend. Blend here right where the two colors join. All right, just kind of blend it across. All right, so you always have a wipe next to you. All right, here we go with the marigold. A little bit more of the marigold than I really wanted, but that's okay. Right. Again, if I just wet my little mat here and then just and then just blend my fingers so that I don't have too much. All right. So we're just kind of blending there. Wipe off my finger. Now I'm going to take my multi tool here and I'm going to dip it into the gold. Since it's a smaller area, I'm just going to want to make sure that I get in here close. Mainly is what I'm concerned is that I don't get any of the colors mixed together. Hopefully that's going to be dark enough. And then... We are going to peel to reveal all of this. I need to peel this up before it gets too dry. Okay, so basically just holding on to the board and up and back. Oh, I like it. Yay. I really like the colors. The colors look great. What do you guys think? 
right, so I'm just going to dry that quickly. Pretty simple. I didn't want to <laughs> do too much. Thought it would just be, I don't really think I need to add anything. What do you guys think? That's your little ombre look there. It's so pretty. That came out cute. If you like it, give me a thumbs up or a heart. Let me know what you think. This is just a dryer, just drying it quickly. So we've got a short, sweet. Let me move these out of the way. Need to get the lids on these as soon as possible. And so it just takes a couple minutes. This is already dry. Now the gold shimmer, that does take a little bit longer to dry. So just need to be careful with that. So there we have it. See, didn't take long to do at all. Right? So that's my cute little project tonight. Let me see if I can get you back to me. Here we go. Yay! Here we go. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I love it. Came out so cute. So see, we could even, um, I don't know, you could do a bag or something. You know what would really be nice? Um, even, I just think we rise by lifting others. Even if somebody had like, um, one of your Bible covers or something that would look really cute on the the front of that Wouldn't that look really neat Very cute, I don't know I just kind of see it as a little religious, but I Still think it's cute. I love it Well, that is pretty much all I had a nice quick simple little project for you guys No time at all, right? so that is what I have for you. If you guys are interested in learning more about um, a VIP group that I have, I do run little specials in there. If you are interested in that, message me below or just put a little comment below VIP. Or if you saw what I did and thought, hey, I could do that and maybe you want to make a little bit of extra money for maybe a gift coming up or well with school starting and maybe you want to help with some school supplies or um, even some school clothes or maybe you just want a day to go away with just you and your girlfriends or something a girls night out there you go or if you're just interested in doing a class and like to host one of your own classes do put a little message down below and say class and I will get with you and get you some more information. No pressure, just trying to get you some information about it. Okay, so I appreciate you coming in. If you would please share the video, I would appreciate that. And if you have any other questions, leave them below also. That is all I have for you tonight. I wanted to do something quick and simple so I can work on some other things for you guys. All right, have a great night, and hopefully I will see you again tomorrow with a new project. If you have anything that you would like me to demonstrate, if I have it, I would be more than happy to do that. Just leave me a comment below or private message me, and I will let you know. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night, and remember, get creative.